Hi, I'm Les from Microsoft. Microsoft is committed to ensuring the continuity of its business operations in order to maintain acceptable levels of service for our customers and partners, and to achieve our objectives for the benefit of all stakeholders. We design the online services to anticipate, plan for, and address failures at the hardware, network, and data center levels. Having built-in intelligence that addresses failures at the application layer rather than at the data center layer, Microsoft delivers high availability and reliability for Microsoft 365. The data centers operate with high redundancy, and the online services are delivering against the financially backed service level agreement of 99.9%. This video will walk you through how Microsoft ensures the continuity of its business operations so that it can maintain acceptable levels of service to all our online services customers. The Microsoft Enterprise Business Continuity Management Program, or EBC and Body of Work, creates a holistic management process which helps to assess, plan, and strengthen Microsoft's resiliency by identifying potential threats, increasing capabilities, and responding to a disruption so business can be returned to normal operations. Each Microsoft organization is required to acquire an appropriate level of maturity to comply with the objectives of the EBCM program, and designate an appropriate representative who will lead and coordinate the EBCM program implementation of Microsoft's continuity activities worldwide within their organization. They serve as the primary point of contact for all enterprise business continuity activities. The EBCM program, policy, and standards are developed based on industry standards and updated and approved annually. Let's talk about the methodology behind the EBCM program. The Microsoft EBCM methodology is comprised of three high-level phases, assessment, planning, and capability validation. Each of these phases guides each online services team through the EBCM program lifecycle. Let's break down each one. The objective of the assessment phase is to identify the mission critical and critical processes necessary for normal business operations. This ensures continuity efforts focus on Microsoft's most time-sensitive processes and their dependencies. The impact analysis is performed to understand impacts and establish recovery objectives. Each online service must identify all internal and external dependencies. Based on the assessment, a business continuity plan is developed to enable recovery of mission critical and critical processes in the event of a major disruption. The plan must include recovery strategies for addressing relevant impacts and managing recovery verification and restoration activities. A plan must be reviewed and validated within 12 months of the previous validation. Each online services team tests the continuity plan at least annually to determine the plan's effectiveness and the services team's readiness to execute the plan. The frequency and depth of testing is linked to a confidence level, which is different for each of the online services. Confidence levels indicate the confidence and predictability in a service's ability to recover or be resilient. At Microsoft, we're committed to ensuring the continuity of our business operations so that we can maintain acceptable levels of service to all of our customers. That begins with online services adhering to the EBCM program, policy, and standards. In addition, Microsoft is the first hyperscale cloud service provider to receive the ISO 22301 certification for business continuity management. The ISO 22301 is a comprehensive international standard which demonstrates the highest level of commitment to business continuity and disaster preparedness. Thank you for watching. For additional papers and guidance, please visit the Service Trust portal.